It's ridiculous, isn't it, And It's only going to get worse, and he's going to score more goals. Thanks, Joanne. Um, Liam, Spurs, I can see the headlines tomorrow. Spurs love Wembley. Yeah, well, they're in a tough group, Dara. Yeah. This group, with Real Madrid, Dortmund and, and, and Spurs, uh, those three are going to be fighting it out. Well, you, you can probably put Real Madrid ahead of the other two, but it's a real struggle, and that was a great result for Spurs tonight, to beat Dortmund 3-1. I thought Dortmund were a bit unlucky. I thought Obama Yang's goal should have stood. That would have made it 2-2. But well, they've got good players. Uh, they didn't have Deli Alley tonight, but Harry Kane delivered again. What a brilliant centre forward he is. And Christensen, I think, has started the season very, very well. And he supplies the passes that are that, that going to give Kane a lot of chances, and he takes them. So, great result for Spurs. And it gives them a big advantage now going on in the group. Yeah, and the, the Wembley thing, like, Eamon, they start a Champions League campaign with a win for the first time, which is amazing in its yeah. own right. But this, the Wembley thing threatened to kind of get out of control. It was crazy yeah. stuff for them. Yeah, it is. It's a real thing. I mean, and now they're playing the Premier League mm. matches there. I think it's a big difference from White Hart Line, which is a very tight uh, and atmospheric place. Wembley can be sterile, should we say, uh, and as much a boost to the other team as it is to you. So it'll help them. We'll see how it plays out in the Premier League, but I still think uh, it's a big disadvantage to play your home games uh, there as opposed to White Hart Lane. Yeah, great night for Tottenham as they beat Borussia Dortmund 3-1.